installing Windows 10 from a USB drive is actually a very simple process. Download the ISO file, which will be in the description. You can also find it on our website. You want to select Create Installation Media for another PC. Then you want to select your language, select what edition that you're going to want to use, and also select the architecture that you want to use. Make sure that you select the one that um, you know is compatible with your PC. Most are going to be 64-bit at this point. Um, you know, select the uh, the edition that you want to install because you can install any. It'll download whichever one you want from this. You don't need a CD key. Go ahead, select next, and then you want to select whether or not you want to install this on a USB flash drive or create an independent ISO file. If you want to do an ISO file, then of course you can install it uh, yourself and put it on a DVD or USB drive and uh, through another mechanism. But in this case, select USB flash drive. Then you're going to hit next, select the flash drive that you want to use, then go ahead and hit next. And then from there, we're going to download Windows 10. This might take a little bit of time. Uh, unfortunately, because the internet is now kind of broken, it could take between 30 minutes and, you know, two or three days, depending, but actually should take about 30 minutes. Um, but Windows 10, of course, like you've heard, has broken the internet. It took me a long time to download this. As you can see, the progress is going quite slow. So instead of letting you watch that, uh, you know, and be cruel to you, we're going to go ahead and speed things up a little bit, speed things along. So after it is downloaded, it's very, very simple, though, because it's, you're going to, it's going to go ahead and automatically start creating the media that you want to create. So it's really pretty spiffy. And creating the media shouldn't take too long. Once um, you have it uh, downloaded, it should take approximately, uh, you know, up to 20 minutes to create this media, depending on what speed of USB drive that you have used. So once you get that going, it should be fairly simple. And after you have this installed, go ahead and hit finish because it's ready to go. Pop that USB drive. That's the only thing you got to do now is pop that USB drive into the USB port of your choice. Fairly simple to do. Get that thing in there. And now, the fun part, selecting the boot option. For Gigabyte, you want to hit F12 repeatedly until you can select which device to boot from. For MSI, you want to hit F11 repeated, repeated times until you can select the boot option. For Asus, you want to hit F8 until you can select the boot option. And finally, for ASRock, you also want to hit F11 multiple times until you're able to select which to boot from. And when selecting, you want to select the USB drive itself, not the UFE, the USB drive itself. And from there, all you have to do is boot into the USB drive and follow the directions. You don't even need a CD key right away. You can go ahead and boot up and uh, install Windows 10 or 8.1 without a CD key. So that's all you have to do. Sometimes you might have to make a new partition. So once you do that, you can, uh, you know, make different partitions. In this particular case, I'm going to go ahead and make just one partition, uh, a new one, because this is a fresh, wonderful, uh, you know, partition uh, in VirtualBox. So once I do that, all I have to do is install it, and voila, I am done. Windows 10 installation from a USB key in a nutshell. One of the most simple things on this wonderful, beautiful blue planet. Thank you. I am Jeff for WCCI Tech Does.